What is a lunch monster? Basically, it's an easy way to add a fun little surprise to your child's school lunch. So quick little backstory. Uh, years ago, when my wife and I were first married, on days that she'd work, I often would draw a little monster, a little note, and then I'd hide it somewhere, either in her lunchbox, uh, taped to the steering wheel of her car, clipped to her ID badge, just somewhere that I knew over the course of her workday, she would come across it and it would sort of be this little, hey, I love you and I'm thinking of you surprise. We started calling them love monsters. Fast forward a little bit to when we have kids and our oldest is just about to start kindergarten, knowing that it's a big change for him, a new environment, lots of new faces, probably a little bit scary. So I drew a little monster to include with his packed lunch so that he, when he got to that halfway point in his day, he'd have that same little surprise waiting. Well, he's about to start fifth grade now. And for every single school day since that first day of kindergarten, I've drawn him a lunch monster. And he saved every single one of them. I also did the same thing when our youngest started kindergarten too. So now I draw two lunch monsters every day during the school year. This is that first year of kindergarten, which I've started laminating and collecting into a binder for him. And this is grades one through four, which I haven't quite gotten to yet. My wife writes little notes on the back as well, wishing them well on whatever they're doing in school that day, talking about some fun thing we did the weekend before, or reminding them about an event coming up after school. So they're not just a little note from home. They've become this sort of journal of their lives during the school year that they can then look back on. And now, as my kids have gotten old enough to read and do a little bit of math, I've experimented with making a game out of the lunch monsters as well. It's super simple. Each lunch monster has a base power, which can be augmented by foods that might be found around the school lunch table. So one lunch monster might get plus one for every food that starts with a C, and plus two for any bananas at the table. So they can see how powerful their lunch monster is based on what they or other people have for lunch. And sometimes I send in extra lunch monsters so they can give them to their friends, and then they get to compare and see who has the strongest lunch monster. It's super simple, but again, just adding a bit of that fun little surprise to their lunch. So this school year, I wanted to make lunch monsters available for other parents as well. Whether you already write a note with your child's lunch, want an easy way to start doing it, or just want to include that fun little surprise for them each day in the form of a silly monster card, joining our Patreon will help you do it. Each month, you'll receive access to 24 unique new lunch monsters, which should be more than enough for the number of school days in a month letting you choose which ones to send, or even send in extras so they can share them with their friends. The Lunch Monsters will be pre-formatted into an easy-to-print PDF, four per page. All you need to do is cut them up. We're including two versions, one with the game elements and one without, if your child is too young to read and you just want the monster artwork. To make things even easier, we also have a tier where each month we will mail you 24 glossy 3x5 cardstock Lunch Monsters. Ready to go, no printing or cutting required. Lunch monsters can be packed in with your child's lunch, snack, water bottle, just in their backpack for an easy way to add that fun little extra surprise to their school day. That little note from home in the form of a silly monster card. Thanks for checking out our Patreon, and we hope you all have a fun, monster-filled school year.